Hi guys, it's me, Sarah. This is going to be a semi-review, kind of a haul, but not really, um, of a kind of unusual topic. Well, not unusual, but it's something that a lot of people don't really talk about, and I figured why not go ahead and talk about it. So I was recently reading um, Marie Claire at work, and there was a, a little, like, um, kind of like a spread of just random um, photos and ideas and things like that, and it had shown um, a few uh, pairs of glasses that I thought looked really cute and I guess it was a, it was trying to suggest that these were work appropriate and you could still be chic and have fun with your eyewear um, and things like that so I thought that was really really great because to me uh, frames are kind of like an accessory for me I, I like I I enjoy wearing glasses I didn't used to when I was a child um, because it was nerdy and you know like it was uncool to be the person who wore glasses and you know I don't know anyway but as an adult I've learned to accept it and I actually enjoy it now it's just one more thing to help me chop off my you know my ensemble my eye um, makeup or whatever, I tend to kind of do my makeup around whatever frames I'm wearing at the time because certain frames on me look better with certain types of makeup um, in terms of like eye shape and things like that, whatever I end up doing with it or colors and things like that. So not getting into too much detail, I'm just going to go on into it. Um, so one of the pairs of glasses was really, really cute and I really was interested in purchasing that particular pair of glasses and the website that it came from was called Mesmer and I don't know if you can see it but it says it right here. And I love the little logo, how it's got like the, like the eye frames. Um, anyway, so basically it's mesmer.com, and I'll link it down below so you can go ahead and check it out. And when I went to check it out, I wanted to just buy the frames because I was I have a doctor's appointment coming up pretty soon for my annual checkup, and um, I wanted to go ahead and just actually have a pair of frames ready for me to take there so I could get the prescription filled when I'm there after my um, appointment. And so um, when I went to the website it had this trial offer, at home trial offer, where basically you pay a dollar um, and I think that that money is refunded back to you even, so it's not even really like you're paying a dollar. Um, but basically you um, can pick up to five pairs of glasses and they will send them out to your house and you can try them on at home and see if you like any of them, if you like any of the styles or anything like that. And I thought that was a really great idea because I like some of the glasses that they have available at a doctor's office, um, but sometimes they don't always have what I'm looking for. I feel like they have really good basics. Like if you always need like a pair, I think of like wire, regular wire frame glasses that are like every day and you can wear them with pretty much anything and you just kind of throw them on and go. But if you're looking for something that's like more fashion forward, I sometimes find it hard to find them in doctor's offices or, you know, optical, you know, offices. And so I think this is just a really good way to personalize it. So I'm just going to go into the glasses that I picked up. And so it comes in a little case that looks like this, and it's magnetic, and you just pop this open, and then these are the five frames that I picked out. Um, and I will go over the names because I have the receipt or the little um, invoice that shows them, or that says the names. So these ones in particular, I think these are called um, Herman. Yeah. Her, like Herman Munster, I guess. I don't know. They're super nerdy, and I really, really like them, and they're kind of oversized. Yeah, so these um, are, this is Herman, and they're all like names, right? I think so. And I actually really, really like these, just as they are. But on me, I wasn't a big fan. I originally picked these out because um, I watched this um, show called The Newsroom on HBO, and I love love, love, love that show. And, um, Olivia Munn is on it, and she's kind of got, like, an Asian-looking face, but not really. Like, she's mixed like me, but she's way prettier. And, um, I kind of figured, well, her, the shape of her face is kind of similar, like, somewhat, and I kind of felt like that was kind of a good jumping point to kind of pick out what I'm going to, um, purchase next. So, I decided to get some oversized ones because I thought they looked uber cute on her, and so I'm going to go ahead and try them on. You can see what they look like. So, I don't know if you can tell, but my eyebrows and my eyes, actually, and my ears, even, are not even. So, sometimes when I wear thick frames, it's pretty obvious when I'm, you know, wearing thick frames because they're just not even. So, I don't think these are, like, terrible, but I just don't think these are the best ones. Um, so, I'm kind of going back and forth with whether, with whether or not I want these or love them or I'm going to keep them. 
Um, there's one pair in particular that I know I'm absolutely going to keep. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys kind of comment down below whether or not you think that I should um, keep these. Okay, and this next pair of glasses is called Flamingo, and these I actually thought were really cute. These are the ones that I'm pretty sure I saw in the magazine them, um, itself, and I just thought they were super cute and I couldn't wait to try them on. And they were alright, I mean, they're not terrible, but I just don't think that they're for me. Um, I don't know if it's because they're so square or what the deal is. Actually, you know what, I like them better today than I did yesterday, because I first tried them on yesterday. Um, and they don't look terrible, but I just don't think that they looked as good as the ones that I really want that I'll show you, because, um, these ones are the ones that I was dying to get, get my hands on, and now, after having tried them on and seeing them in the mirror, they're okay. Um, so these are Flamingo. They have another one that's pretty similar to it. I can't remember what the name of it is, but when I look it up online, um, later on, I'll go ahead and post it down below, or I'll post the link to the pair of frames that are similar to those down below. And most of these frames are available in several different colors. So if you see any tortoiseshell ones or brown ones that you see that you like, um, but you don't like the color, they most of them have them available in black as well. Um, and then this pair is called Mickey. I don't really know why. Um, these ones I just picked on a whim. I didn't really care for these too much, but I kind of like the weird funky color of them. I thought they were kind of like retro and kind of 70s, and they're alright. I, I can't see myself ever purchasing these, but I figured why not try a different style or a different, um, I don't know, like a different, yeah, a different style. And just try it out and see if there's anything new out there that I haven't ever tried on and that I would like and... I don't know, opened my eyes, I guess. Um, so those were called Mickey, and I think these are also available in black. And there are a couple other frames that are available in this kind of like ombre effect where it's got the br darker brown on top and the lighter brown on the bottom, if you're interested in that. And they also have that in like a black-gray color, so it's got the ombre effect that way as well. These ones are called the Dorchesters, I think. Yeah, and these ones I completely picked on a whim. I hadn't, I hadn't ever even thought of picking these up. Um, but I figured they're pretty similar to, in shape to the ones that I own now, and I really like the tortoise shell of them. Um, so I'll show you what they look like. This is the Dorchester, and it's actually the last one on the list of glasses if you go to the prescription section, um, on the women's side of Mesmer. And so these ones actually don't have any, like, frames, so it's probably going to look a little silly. But these feel super comfortable, and they actually, I feel like they look really cute on... Um, so I'm really, really happy with them. Um, if you agree or disagree, please post down below because I'm still trying to decide which ones I really like and which ones I don't like. Um, and I've been wanting a pair of um, tortoiseshell um, frames for a really long time. Um, I've been wanting a lots of different pairs. For a while I wanted a pair of red frames. My sister ended up getting a pair of red frames, so I was like, screw that, I'm not getting the same thing. And so then for a while I was wanting a pair of um, like turquoise aqua um, colored glasses or frames, and I saw a pair by Chanel, I think, that were super cute, but they were really expensive, and they were kind of hard to find. Like, you couldn't really, I couldn't just walk into a store and just grab a pair. Um, so that was kind of a bust. Um, and then these last ones are called, these ones are called the Audrey. They're really cute, and actually I was really interested in these because I feel like these ones are super similar in shape to the ones that I own now, the white ones. And I love the white ones. Once once I get my new um, I well once I get my new prescription after my eye exam, I'll probably end up changing out the prescription of these glasses, these white ones, unless I have the same prescription, I guess, and it wouldn't really matter either way. Anyway, so I'm gonna try these on, and these ones weren't bad. They're really thin, so they're a lot smaller in size than obviously these other frames I tried on, and these ones don't have lenses in them either, if you can tell. Um, anyway, so. I didn't mind these. I felt like it made it a lot easier to see how crooked my face is. Um, but I feel like it's uncomfortable here on the sides of my face because I, I have a bigger head. I'm not going to lie. I have a big head. Um, so I made my sister try them on and they look so cute on her, but she is completely against the fact that these are brown. And I'm like, you can get them in black. But she's not really in the market. Well, here's the thing. She's in the market for glasses, but she really wants to try the Kim, no, the Kardashian, um, frames that are available at um, certain Sears optical centers, so I don't know. Anyway, so basically the moral of the story is, or basically the gist of this 
whole thing is you try these on, all five of them at home, you pick out which one you like, and you send the whole thing back, including the one that you like. And once you get your prescription, you can go ahead and order the frames that you want and fill in the prescription there, and then they can go ahead and just send them to you, and you can wear them as soon as you get them. Or, if you prefer to have them done, you know, at your own place, um, the frames, I mean, the uh, lenses, I mean, you can always just keep the frames from the box itself which I think is kind of cool, but there's like a 10% off coupon, I think, on the site that I really want to use, so I think I'm just going to send the whole thing back, and I have to decide whether or not I want to do the prescription route, or if I just want to purchase the frames and then just um, go ahead and um, get them filled somewhere else. That's what I ended up doing with these. I bought these from theglassesshop.com, and I, um, oh, I've got blush on them. Gross. Um, anyway, so I bought these from theglassesshop.com. I got the prescription filled at a local um, optometry place franchise and it worked out great so I really really like it so I may I may end up doing that instead and I have eye care insurance or eye insurance uh, not that I ever used it I don't know if many people do anyway but so the winners are Dorchester and I'm still going back and forth with the Harmon because I really want a big pair of frames like these but I feel like I don't know is it just basically nerdy or is it like borderline whimsical which is what I want it to be and ironic that I'm wearing these because I don't know they're called the Hermans I really really want a big pair like these so I've been wanting a big pair for a while um, any thoughts on what you think or any thoughts on what you think of course you have thoughts on what you think but anything you care to share are they bad are they really that bad I don't know maybe it's just a shape that's um, kind of got me concerned. I'm not really sure, but I keep going back and forth, and I'm like, well, does that mean that I really like them, or does that mean that I'm not sure if I like them? Um, so I've got some thinking to do. So I have to return all these within five days of having received them in the mail, because if I don't, then I get charged for all of them. And every single pair of, um, of frames costs $99. So it's kind of pricey if you're somebody who prefers to shop the deals at an optometry store, um, or if you're... Um, the type of person who shops at theglassesshop.com, they're kind of pricey too. But if you're somebody who buys like designer brands like Calvin Klein, Gucci and all of that, or um, Chanel, Tom Ford, you're probably not going to be too worried about the price because you're used to paying um, a crazy amount of money for frames anyway. So I'll be sending all of these back and then pick, basically picking up the Dorchester. Um, I may end up at some point looking at other large frames at the optometrist if I find something that I like there instead because I do want a pair of black frames too. I just haven't decided what I want yet. So I just wanted to let you guys know about this brand and this store because I just thought it was really cool. And all the pairs of frames have the name etched in white um, on the uh, legs. Um, so if ever there's a time you accidentally lose the receipt or something or the invoice and you're not sure which pair of frames you like, you can just always read them um, in, the, uh, in the frame itself. So, I don't know. Maybe this is kind of boring. Maybe people won't think this is interesting, but I thought it was kind of cool and neat. And I really wanted to share it with you guys because I was kind of excited about it and I really want feedback on whether or not I look ridiculous in all those frames. So... Um, yeah, let me know what you think, and I will get back to you very soon with another video. Yeah, because that's the only way I would be able to get... Well, I guess if I can message you, but if you're not messaging me, I won't be able to message... You know what I'm saying. Anyway, bye-bye.